<laughs> I can love AI. Okay, this one. BTS, I read Dota. I watched yesterday. It was so badly done. Okay. So, personally, I can love AI. Uh, let's watch a little bit. If it's bad, we skip. It's more for sophisticated people. This is very advanced stuff. So don't feel stupid now if you don't get it. I remember when I read Alan Turing's 1950 paper on the Turing test. He said that imagine if we could have a machine that would not be programmed with a solution that, that we really understand, but it would learn its own solution. Mm -hmm. And the idea that you could actually have a machine that would be able to solve problems that I couldn't understand, that became the thing that I wanted to work on. I always wanted to work on AI. Um, and push the limits of what computers can do. Around the release of AlphaGo, I realized that deep learning is actually a technology that might go very far. Before coming to OpenAI, I was building large distributed data processing systems. Mm -hmm. And before that, I was working as a data scientist. And before that, I was working uh, in cool finance, hair. actually, at Morgan Stanley. So been a sort of circuitous route coming here. <laughs> I was actually a mobile developer working on iPhone apps. And I wanted to work on something new and exciting. I want to feel like I'm working in the Wild West. In school, I actually did a PhD in theoretical particle physics. And then I moved to software engineering. And then I felt like I wanted to go a little more towards research. Uh, so I came here to do AI research. Before I joined OpenAI, I was making a living out of playing poker professionally. I played games professionally made a living out of winning programming contests. OpenAI is my first real job. That was cool hair, actually. AI is everywhere around us. No? Almost every tech platform that we use today uses some kind of artificial intelligence. No? Netflix uses AI. Same thing with YouTube. Siri, Alexa, True. all voice assistants. True. Google and Facebook also use AI. For starters, we should talk about what artificial intelligence is. And there's this big question in the field about what is artificial intelligence. I would define artificial intelligence as trying to get computers to do things that humans are currently better at. Things like image recognition, natural language processing, these are areas where humans are far better than computers. Uh -huh. Almost everything that we currently understand to be artificial intelligence is a very small subdivision of the field called machine learning. A classic example is cat versus dog photos. So you can show the computer time to get bullied again say, feels like, a game. These are cats. And then show them a ton of dog photos and say these are dogs. And then the computer uses statistics to figure out, okay, when the pixels are this way, I now know that this must be a cat. And when the pixels are the other way, it must be a dog. We open our phone, it's face recognition. That's machine learning. Our mail gets sorted with visual recognition powered by machine learning. But these are examples of machine learning pattern recognition. And there's this whole other kind of machine learning where it's not just about pattern recognition, it's about learning to achieve goals. For example, learning to win a game. Oh, this is it. Right. There's this really long uh -huh. history of using games as a benchmark for AI. The reason for it is very simple. At the end of the day, AI progress is really driven by having hard problems to solve. I don't Go really on. know how to play chess, but I know the rules. I know. And it's enough for me to know the rules, to write a program, I can play chess, and if I can play chess better, then I can play it. And that to me is just so fascinating that I can write a piece of code that then outsmarts me. And I think, you know, of course, chess is exciting, but that opens up many opportunities for, well, what else can we write code for that then all of a sudden can solve the problem better than we can? Deep Blue beat the world champion back in the 90s. AlphaGo pushed the limits of AI to a point where they'd never been before. It is possible to beat humans just with plain old like planning and just tree search, mm -hmm. which is basically like all the possibilities, okay, and then all the possibilities there, okay, and then all the possibilities there, and you just find the best path. Yeah, of course. For a game like chess, people That's usually what measure what's called the branching factor, which is at each turn, how many moves are there that are valid? 
And in chess, the number works out to something like a couple dozen, you know, maybe 10 or 20 or 30, something around there. For something like Dota, the number starts to look more like 1,000, 10,000. And what it really means is that the neural network can't be looking through all the possibilities. Instead, Get a fast computer. the neural network has to have something that looks a lot more like human intuition. It looks at the state of the world and it just figures out what to do from there. Whoever wants to. Okay. But I... A good part of my research is on solving imperfect information games. It's not really about the recreational games themselves. Finish. It's about building techniques that can deal with imperfect <laughs> information, deception, and so on. <laughs> what I should do depends on what the other players do, and vice versa. They know things that I don't know, and I know things that they don't know. Working on poker AIs, for example, it's not about developing an AI that can play poker. It's about situations that involve hidden information. Hidden information is ubiquitous in the real world. You see it in negotiations. You see it even in self-driving cars. You might not see the car in front of you or know what the goal is of the car next to you if they're trying to merge into your lane or not. AI is in this place right now where we have all these really cool tools and it's great at solving these small tool, baby environments. Atari games like Pong. Uh, could point out obvious flaws. When are they gonna play? They don't play them. What is the point then? The origin of Dota really goes back to one individual and eventually nice a group stash. of individuals' passion project. It was a custom game made inside the Warcraft 3 platform, which was a video program alone. Well, get you gone. Yeah. We should be excited and stressed and not like worried and stressed because regardless, like we're on stage with the best in the world, like literally. So we got here. <laughs> I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, couldn't get back to sleep for two hours. And just lay there just thinking about this and thinking about all the things that we need to do and you know, all the different outcomes that we could have. And like one thing I think is so exciting is that like we are truly going to learn at the same time the whole world does. I've never lost AI. Computers cannot think like I think. The AI until Else, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ourselves ready for OpenAI Game 2 here at TI and the biggest of Chinese legends taking to the playing field here as we get to see them come back together to go up against OpenAI in this match. Three minutes in, we're seeing four of OpenAI in lane after lane, just rotating around, finding these kills, crushing these lanes, just storming around the map as a full five-man unit, OpenAI. I did up for sort of the stats first. I don't remember this lane, game. He's getting gone on yet again. Ferrari in trouble. He's got the backup of oh, RTK. Coco that bounces he correctly. cannot save him though. As that is, I believe, the sixth time Ferrari's gone down in the middle lane. The humans need to make something happen and make something happen fast. It bears repeating, right? Like, these are TI winners. Yes. These are some of the best some of the best. Some of the best of the best. They quickly adapted to parts of the games that they saw was unusual and sort of notice some way of sort of using that to their advantage. At some point, I think they realized our axe was doing something very silly. And so they decided to just keep going, you know, picking off axe. Back outside of the base, the two supports, Sanchez and Xiaowei, having some fun here with the axe. They taunt him, tease him, the freezing, the holding in place as the axe uh, should nice fall, game. and he does. The Point CM right-click finishes him off. Feels good, man. He's got to do something spectacular to keep control as the humans are, are just getting further and further ahead. Yep. It's gonna get pretty tough. <laughs> one of their characters ended up being a lot stronger than any one character on our team. And I remember watching this game and being really terrified at any encounter we would have with this one overpowered character. Another kill for the Gyrocopter. Yeah, and the humans keep making Lil. good play after good play, understanding the rotations and just taking those heroes as, they, as they're trying to farm, as they're trying to create space. Can OpenAI hold against the Megas, against I the team? No, I don't think you can with that lineup right now. So now there's only, <laughs> only which doctor, and he's going to die. Oh, like, the Death Ward symbolically used there in honor of his own death as OpenAI taken down again. Your Chinese legends have done it, ROTK. But um, gyrocopter, yeah. They yeah, are TZ maybe needs to take it. Not shaking hands with AI? I just wish that we at least won one game. Because I think the crunch of the last two weeks was pretty exhausting for a lot of people on the team. 
we ex kind of expected that things might not turn out that well, but it still would have been nice to win. Sam only picks on here with Cap. One of it's going to be so they didn't play a new they game. Heroes according to that's it. shame. Fantastic work. Comes close, they just all snap and. Do you, what was yeah, the point all, of the event? Then? And or did they maybe play a TI? Is that what they're waiting action for? Action is like oh, it's just. So they're playing a TI most likely. They played. Okay, Pika Pika, you will give me a time right now when they played. Uh, before I ban you, because we have a very hardcore rule here where lying is bannable. And making baseless claims will get you banned. So I'm 99.9% sure that they did not play. They played OG versus AI. So if you go here, we have a look. This is OG versus Beast Coast. Now, Beast Coast are human beings. Uh, I personally consider them as human beings. Uh, maybe you don't, because you're racist. Uh, but they are most certainly humans. And they are very cool. So what do you have to say now? Kekel. Alright, we got him. Lying. 14 days, 2 weeks. No lying allowed here, guys. No lying allowed. Uh, let's play some solo Dota. Uh, let's go back to rank 135, I think. <laughs> uh, what is someone abusing? What is BCA? What the hell is this? What the hell is this?